Uh, my name is Mark Wright. I am the former department chair here at Erie Community College. And now I'm uh, working with the, the department to recruit it. So I'd like to give you a little bit of insight on our program here at ECC. I'm a graduate, graduated back when it was Food Systems Administration back in 1973. All right, and after that, I went into uh, the kitchen work and I did mostly kitchen work. Um, but about 20 years into the kitchen, I said to myself, I think I need to go um, maybe try something else. So I went back to Buffalo State and got my uh, four year degree in uh, food systems management. And now everything has since changed and they've changed the names and stuff like that. So then I became a small, uh, got, uh, in my career was at uh, a, Trans a Trans Valley Country Club where I worked for thir almost 30 years. And I moved forward uh, working part time here when my kids were in college. And after they were all, uh, when they all graduated, I became um, a full-time instructor here. And I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, but lately, the last 10 to 15 years, I've taught a few of the hotel restaurant management students in different parts of the program. I'm sure I taught them in the kitchen, but I spend a lot of time in the dining room with them. And uh, they're great people. We've had some great students that have graduated from here and that have gone on to careers in, in the hotel field, the catering field, uh, mostly uh, front of the house style thing. A few in the kitchen, but mostly out there. Uh, go to any restaurant uh, any, or any club or any hotel, you're gonna find some graduates of our program. So I just wanna give you an idea that you start here, you can go anywhere. Uh, your students are, are uh, our students are taken well taken care of by our faculty. We have one-on-one -on -one with most of them. Uh, we work around their schedules. You know, we try to work with them uh, to our best of ability if they have families, if they have uh, transportation issues. We work with them uh, to make their experience here at uh, SUNY Erie uh, enjoyable. And when they graduate from here, they look forward to uh, coming back and telling us about their, their, uh, all, all the things they've done in, uh, to further their careers. This is Allie Jenkins, an instructor here at Erie Community College and a graduate of our program. Allie, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your educational experience here and uh, just tell us what you, uh, when you graduated and what you did after graduation? Sure. So I went here at ECC North Campus back in 2008. I graduated from here and then went on to Buff State where I was in the Hospitality Administration Department. And I graduated from there in 2010 uh, with my bachelor's degree. Then from there, I started in the industry at the Avant building where um, the embassy suites was first opening. So I was there when, uh, when the doors first opened, we started training before that even, and I stayed there for four years and moved my way up in the management department. So you're your degree from Erie Community College is in hotel restaurant management. It is. All right. And so that was uh, was that your degree uh, uh, opened doors for you from uh, from Erie to uh, go and move forward in the industry. It certainly did. Um, it was my first stepping stone when I started here. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go, and hospitality seemed like the perfect path that had many opportunities. It wasn't just a pigeonhole where I had to stick with a certain um, career path, where with hospitality I could go into restaurants, I could go into hotels, I could go into a cruise line, um, airports, anything, and everything was um, opened up to me by taking that course. So now, uh, Ellie, you're, uh, you're working here at the college part-time as an instructor, uh, taking care of mostly the uh, front of the house. Um, so uh, your uh, education helped with uh, get your position here too, I suppose. Correct, yes. Yeah. So I started working here in August of 2013. Um, so that was about seven and a half years ago or so. And um, I didn't start necessarily in this front of the house position in the Erie Statler room. I had a few online courses, um, but I got to take part in this class one day at a time. Um, and when a teacher retired, I was offered the position to teach this class um, mainly. So this is my only position here, but it is wonderful. I love being in the front of the house at the restaurant. And, um, 
teaching these culinary students what it's like to be on the other side of the kitchen. I know what, uh, Ellie, you said that you, uh, you would like working with the culinary students. Um, you've also helped us out with uh, some of our uh, major fundraisers here, and which you've worked with our HRM students who have a different take on, on um, the, the industry. Your culinary students really don't like to work out here, as opposed right. to our HRM students who love to work. Love to be in front of customers. Right. That's right. And they have a different type of personality. Uh, back of the house is sort of like you don't have that. Like, oh, I don't want to be out there, but you know. But eventually they move. So, tell us a little bit about um, you know you're you're a mom, you have uh, children, uh, and your work and work life, your family life, and how all that works together. Sure, it's a very good balance between the two. I still have time in the morning to take my daughter to school. I can get here to class without um, without any sort of uh, conflict, but then I also have a second job as well, and I don't have to work quite so late um, as I used to, so I get to be home with her for dinner and uh, putting her to bed. But to go back to your, your differences between the HRM students as well as the culinary students, I have found that a lot of, not a lot, we'll say a handful, of the culinary students have said how much they enjoy being in the front of the house. So having that experience here has opened their eyes up to see that they like to be in the dining room. They like that customer interaction and it's actually prompted some of them to take hospitality management classes in addition to their culinary classes. Um, they've also gained that experience when we did events in our cafeteria, so the larger fundraisers. They enjoyed being out in the dining room, they enjoyed setting the tables, serving the customers, um, just having that customer interaction where they wouldn't get that in the back of the house in the kitchen. So that's really a neat thing to see is when those culinary students open themselves up to wanting to be out in the front of the house. Uh, well, well, thanks, Allie. Uh, that was appreciated. Uh, uh, we're going to send, be sending these uh, some of these uh, short videos that we're doing of our graduates to uh, the program at Emerson. Um, Wonderful. Uh, so we're we're working with them. So thank you so much for joining welcome. us today. It was a pleasure. Hi, everybody. Mark Wright again. I just want to uh, we're we're going to take a quick tour of our facility, but we're going to start here in the Statler's Erie Room. Uh, this is where our HRM students and our culinary students practice service, uh, management, uh, wine tasting even, beer tasting and things like that. We do all that in here. Uh, so we do uh, table service, we do buffet service, we do sometimes we do a banquet. But right here on the wall is a mural. And this mural is of the 1901 Pan American Exposition that was held right here in Buffalo, New York. And the person that we're, our school is named after, and there's a big hotel downtown, is this gentleman right over here, and that's Ellsworth M. Statler, who formed, uh, who did the food service and the lodging for the, um, the, the exposition. He, since then, after that, opened up many, many, many hotels. In fact, his flagship was downtown Buffalo, the Statler, uh, the Statler Hotel, which is being refurbished now. Uh, become a, a grand hotel like it used to be. But Statler uh, formed a foundation uh, and his wife found a, a, a foundation after his death. But we're the benefactors of that foundation, not only for scholarships, but uh, anytime we have we need to, some money to refurbish and stuff, they're always there to help us out. It's a Buffalo based, only the money stays here in Buffalo, New York. So the Statler Foundation, scholarships, uh, grants and, and funds to do uh, many, many different things. Hi, everybody. Mark again. I uh, just wanted to show you a few more things that Statler has provided us here. At the college, we have our Statler Suites, was established in 2017. Another one of our um, uh, found, uh, things that we did through uh, the Statler Foundation uh, through a grant. Uh, right now, as you see, uh, we have a, a, one of our students that is uh, selling the, pro uh, the products that are one of our pastry chefs here, uh, Barb Pratt, has put together, Barb Warnick has put together. And of course, Ellie oversees everything uh, when it comes to front of the house and, and cash sales. So she's over here helping out too. So thank you everybody for uh, letting us uh, film you. Hi, Julia. Uh, we're just gonna have a couple questions we're gonna ask because we wanna share your experiences here at Erie Community College 
with uh, the students at Emerson. So first of all, uh, what brought you here to ECC? Well, I've been here for about three and a half years now, and I came from Buff State, so I went back to ECC, and well, they had like such a good program for hotel restaurant management, what I found online, and I thought I'd give it a try. All right. So um, did you have any experience before you came here in the, in the, in the business? Not really. I work at Tim Hortons, so I have like a little bit of customer service experience and whatnot, but as far as like hotel restaurant management, I really don't have much. So what, what's the future look like for you? I feel like there's so many different paths I could go because of this program. I could go on to more schooling or try to find a job from here. I'm really not sure. I think that's what's great about ECC is like you, okay, it sounds stupid, but, like, you start here and go anywhere. So, <laughs> like, uh, we said that in our first interview, so Yeah, there's really a lot of places I can go, and I think I might go on to more schooling, but I'm not sure yet. So, you're right now, like you, you said you, you work at Tim Hortons, and you're still there now, and you've worked your way up to mm -hmm. become... So, now I'm a manager at Tim Hortons, and this schooling has definitely helped me get there, and showed me what I wanted to do with my career. So at Bus State, you're, you were in the, their, their hospitality program before mm -hmm. you came here, and then usually it works the other way around, but we're glad yeah. you came back here. So we appreciate your, your time with us. And um, what have you, uh, you know, have you developed friendships and uh, long-term friendships here, and you know, or are you just a, a community you come in and take classes or you leave? or? Or have you found uh, a relationship with your, your student, with your fellow students? I've definitely found friendships that I didn't expect. Like, it's just so nice to relate to other students and to be able to, like, work off each other and to see, like, where you all want to go in the future and what's ahead. And I have to say, you know, uh, we have so many different, you know, we have a, 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 an interesting student body here. And, and the four people that we're talking to today, the, the four people we're talking to today, have different interests in everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we have some from hotels, some from restaurants, from from uh, uh, fast food or uh, fast casual. So, uh, just goes to show you that uh, SUNY Erie can be used for uh, starting here and going anywhere. Am I yeah. Right? All right. So, so if you have anything you want to add, or I would just say like it's very nice that it's not just one group of people. It's really different ages, different people, different styles, and then you all just blend together and create a community. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you so much, and uh, we wish you great success. All right. Thanks, Julia. Thank you. All right. All right. Good afternoon, Debbie. Good afternoon, uh, Chef Ray. Thank you for taking a few minutes out to tell us a little bit about your experiences here at Erie Community College, or SUNY Erie, in our hospitality program. Uh, we all know, uh, just give us a little history of how long you've been here, what you've taken, and things like that. I have been at ECC North since 2017 when I had to take math class and English class just to get into school because it's been so long. Gotcha. And that was then I got into the baking and pastry program that lasted, that was a year. So I got that certificate. And then I heard that there was this fabulous chef at ECC by the name of Mark Wright. And um, that's why I took culinary. I did two years of culinary with this guy, Chef Mark, and it was the best time of my life. I had so much fun. Everybody here is so awesome and great. Um, then after that, the pandemic hit, so I had to change a little bit, and I went into the HRM program. Could you tell me what HRM you mean? The Hotel Restaurant Management. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, uh, some of your culinary courses, I suppose, were um, uh, used for credit in the Hotel Restaurant Management program. Yes, they were. So, right now you're taking um, this class um, and you are taking um, some other classes that are, uh, that are um, college uh requirements like English and computer science and things like yes. that. Yes. So, and uh, so 
you're a, what we call a non-traditional student, so you came back for many, many years. What was your experience in the home, in the business business, in the food service, hospitality business before that? My sister had a pizzeria, so I was 12 years at that pizzeria. Um, then I took time off because I had a child, and then I went into a different pizzeria as a manager because I was, you know, so many years into the business. And then I decided I wanted to bake. I love to bake, always did. And uh, I also, I give Christmas cookies for presents. <laughs> so the baking program is great. There's so many great chefs in this, in this school. Um, culinary, my experience in culinary is just absolutely wonderful. I mean, I was nervous, <laughs> you know, but I got through it and it was great every day. So what's the future look like? The future looks like, I am going to be working in a country club for about a year. And then my plans are to fly south and try and pick up a restaurant hotel job there because that's where I want to be, in the hotel. I'm good with people. I love people. Um, and I smile a lot. <laughs> well, thanks, Debbie. Thanks for us sharing with us, and we appreciate you being here. You've been a integral part of the program for uh, many years. So we, we're going to miss you, uh, but I know you're going to go far in this business. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chef. You're welcome. Hi, everybody. This is Mike Schneider. Now, Mike is, uh, has a unique story to tell us about how he came to ECC. Mike? Uh, basically, I'm going to trail care for my associates in hospitality management, and they started kind of shutting my program down. So... I came to ECC for as a partner college, and I'm finishing up my degree here. That's very interesting. Uh, we had a call last year, uh, and this is one of our capstone classes. This is called Hot Foods 2, uh, Food and Service. So, uh, Mike, what, what do you do uh, when you're not at school? Uh, I work basically every other day that I'm not here. Okay. And where do you work? At Russell's. Russell's Steaks and More? Yes. And what do you do there? I'm a maitre d'. And... Uh, has your time here, uh, has your time uh, with both Trocare and here uh, improved your customer service skills? And uh, Yeah, I mean, when I started at Russell's, I wasn't a maitre d', so I wasn't really as good with, like, customer service and everything. I mean, I was just, I was 16 when I started. I didn't really know how to go up to a customer and talk to them and everything. And uh, just learning all the classes that I've done taught me how to, how to read a menu, how to read a... Uh, a restaurant, how to learn what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, how it needs to be done. So, ECC and Trocar definitely did help me out. So, being here, uh, have you put anything that we've taught you here on different things to, uh, to uh, have you brought anything to Russell's from here? Oh, well, definitely. I, uh, part of the job as a maitre d' is you got to help out the servers a little bit, especially when they need help. They're busy running their food, helping them okay. with uh, in the kitchen. So, with this class, learning how to cook some of the food or serve or serve some of the food, it definitely helped me out. Uh, learn how to do that at Russell's as well. So, do you think um, you have a, a, a different feeling for the service, the, the servers, the, the waiters, and the waitresses at Russell's? I used to think of them as like, you know, sometimes I would see they're running behind a little bit. I would think like, come on, but now, now seeing doing it myself, I'm like. All right, now, now I get how that can happen sometimes. Right. So it's unique that we all work in different uh, parts of the business. You know, you, you spend time in the kitchen with the chefs. You spend time out here with the, with, uh, with the instructors out here. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the difference between what you think, the difference between ECC and Trocares, not just the tuition, because I know there's a big difference there. Uh, Trocares is a lot smaller than ECC as well. Um, all my classes were about two or three people per class, all my hospitality classes at least. And uh, the classes I took easy, they weren't huge, but I mean, they were definitely bigger than Trocare's were. Trocare was more very personal, almost one-on-one -on -one with the uh, professor, but now coming to ECC, it's more you get to know the uh, 
you get to know your classmates more and you get to learn from based off their experiences and what they do as well. So it's, it's not just learning from the professors here, it's learning from the students as well. Great, thank you so much, Mike. That was important that we do. And like I said, Mike is a unique student here, did his uh, final capstone class here. And then what's graduation gonna bring uh, when you graduate from Tropair? Uh, just gonna keep working on Russell's hope to work my way up a little bit there. And what can you, what, what, what can working your way up bring? Hopefully it can take me to a management position. And if not here, hopefully maybe even somewhere else, but it can hopefully help me to get to a management spot someday down the road. Perfect. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. All right. Now we have uh, with us tonight today is Danielle Downey, who is uh, uh, another. Uh, let's just say, uh, give us a little bit a uh, 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 history about yourself. You're you're a, a non-traditional student too. Am, am I correct? Non-traditional, yeah. So you came back to school uh, when? Um, two years ago. And then you have no other college? I have no other college experience. So right out of high school, I um, entered the workforce. And throughout the years, I've realized there's a lot of management and owners um, that don't really know what they're doing. So they're kind of faking it till you make it. So I decided to come to college to learn from those who could actually teach me the right and wrong ways of doing things um, and being successful. So, what did you do right when you got out of high school? Um, I worked in retail jobs. I've worked for cleaning companies. I've um, worked for telemarketers also and Dish Network and stuff like that. So every aspect of my whole um, job search was customer service based. So that's why I picked hospitality. Um, because you can take it anywhere, <laughs> um, which I would like to travel more, but also the management aspect of it. So what do you do right now? I work at the Hilton Garden Inn. Downtown. Um, downtown Buffalo. I started at the front desk and after clocking in a couple internship hours, I now have the assistant executive housekeeper position. Um, so, I mean, once you know somebody in the hospitality industry, it kind of opens things up. A well, bit. You know, that's, that's a great uh, observation. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've all we've all met people, and we've all had different mentors, different teachers, and things like that. Um, so you came from a high school, and you, you decided to come back to school. Now you're you're working. Uh, you, well, this is your capstone class. You're doing an internship too, mm -hmm. and so you're uh, and you have hotel experience, mm -hmm. which is different than the other three that we spoke to. The other, already yeah. so hotel experiences how do you feel these classes relate to your your uh, time in the hotel well if I'm going for a management position and inside of a hotel you need to be able to step into any position within the hotel so this portion the restaurant portion it's good to know you know nice skills and <laughs> well, how to oh, serve oh. and um, you're basically taught all aspects within the hospitality industry which is broad right okay so we're, we're, we're you have some you know we're giving you food and beverage mm -hmm. uh you've, you're taking classes in promotional strategies you're taking classes in, in accounting and things like that so they've all helped you further your career uh what what do you what do you see in the future for you i'm not sure yet actually i would like some type of management position mm -hmm. um within the hotel business um, but there's so many opportunities I'm not sure which avenue I'm going towards so <laughs> yeah we, we have few a few students that are in hotels now uh, that have done very very well for themselves and have moved up the ladder uh, so it's interesting to say that you know you're working for a large uh, hotel chain the Hilton chain mm -hmm. that you can travel to other Hilton chain uh, Hilton Think, and this is that what you think you're going to do in the future? Yeah, absolutely. I would like a job that is more um, traveling than anything. So, traveling, I, traveling to different spots to, to work? Or? Right, to different locations of the hotel, um, mm -hmm. whichever brand that I choose to go with. I'm working with Hilton right now, but I don't know what Marriott or um, the Four Seasons or what they offer just yet. So, I'm just 
putting my foot in the door and seeing where it can take me. So, in your experience here at ECC, was beneficial to what you think is going to happen in the future? Oh, very much so. You know, we talked to Mike and we talked to uh, Julia and to Debbie a little bit about the um, camaraderie and the networking that you've done here at the college. So do you feel like that you've met a bunch of people that did, did help you with your career, be friends for life? Uh, Definitely friends for life. Right. I can, and every single person that I'm in school with, they're all going for different um, tranches in the hotel and, well, hospitality industry. Um, and it's nice to be able to hear their side of that business. Um, <laughs> that's fine that's a perfect answer but yeah no for <laughs> definitely friends for life um and definitely will help each other out um i feel in the future as well